When Peter Gibbons was racing the Cast Car Super Series in Canada many years ago, he decided to open an engine shop in order to build his own engines. He quickly became the go-to shop for most of the racers in Cast Car, and the shop grew from there. Peter's two sons, Pete and Jake, have since gotten involved in the engine business, and today the two of them run the Mooresville, North Carolina shop named Gibbons Motorsports, while their dad Peter enjoys semi-retirement. Gibbons Motorsports is a full machine shop capable of doing just about everything in-house and focuses on engine builds for hot rods, streetcars, restorations, dirt track racing, drag racing, grudge racing, and speedboat applications. No matter how many or what type of engines get built at Gibbons Motorsports, the best ones are always the custom builds, like the shop's recent build of a 452 cubic inch SB2 small block Chevy engine for a drag race customer. We're going to give you the details in this episode of Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrave. Precision, performance, Pengrave. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original. Leading technology, leading service. And SCAT Crankshafts. Everything for your LS engine. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about the specs of a 452 cubic inch small block Chevy engine built by Gibbons Motorsports. At the time this build started, the customer of the Chevy engine was a walk-in and a new customer to Gibbons Motorsports. Ever since, the customer has sent the shop additional work. Here's Pete to tell you more. Yeah, he's just a guy wanting to go racing, he's kind of buying pieces as we go, the guy's spending $50,000 on the thing. It does have all the best of the best you can buy in it. It's one we've done a lot of custom work on. Probably one of our most intense custom machine motors. It's a small block Chevy based uh, drag grudge race motor. It's the SB2 headed uh, small block. It's the 452 cubic inch, the tall deck. The build started with a raw dart iron eagle block that got bored and honed to a 4185 bore. The shop also bored out the cam tunnel from a standard core to a 55 millimeter needle bearing cam tunnel and bored the lifter bores to accommodate 937 lifters. It's the dark iron eagle block, custom crane, custom rod, custom J piston, heavy duty nitrous stuff. It's got dry sump and a tank and everything mounted on the front of it. So there's a lot of plumbing and custom machining that went along with all that to make it all work. We've got Peterson tank, the Auto Verde oil pump, it's just a monster nitrous cam. It's custom, you know, pretty custom grind deal that he did. It's pretty, really radical nitrous lobes on it. SBU did all the nitrous stuff. And it's got an M and M single dominator cast manifold on it that I ported. It's got Dan Olson dry sump, custom dry sump oil pan on it. We're using a Pro Systems uh, three circuit dominator carburetor. The 452 small block Chevy got finished with SB2 cylinder heads, and Gibbons Motorsports put the engine on their new Superflow Powermark Dyno to break it in. The engine cranked out 900 horsepower, but the shop knew there was more to be had, so they did a few more tweaks and expect the power output to be right around 1,000 horsepower naturally aspirated. With the nitrous sprayed, Pete says the customer should be getting 1,600 to 1,800 horsepower using C23 fuel. Now all that's left to do for this small block Chevy is to finally hit the track. Well that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks to our sponsors Scat Crankshafts, Pengrade Motor Oil, and L-Ring DOS Original. And remember, if you have an engine that you'd like to feature, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.